hello everyone this is your girl posh girl blog bringing you all the latest and all the updates the way you like it if you're coming across me for the first time please push the notification button or subscribe and then we will update you and notify you whenever a new video is uploaded today we're talking about late pastor dari adeboye who was laid to rest on the 11th of 5th 2021 at the service of songs which was held for him where dignity dignitaries and people from all walks of life who gathered together to remember and to send them off temilolua who is the late pastor's wife remember her late husband pastor dari adeboyo in her speech and stated that she did not cry because he let because he was no more but rather she she is crying because he left her behind. She also had the conviction that her husband went to the Lord. She said he is not dead, but he is sleeping and sleeping in the Lord. She further added that her husband was not afraid of death. He was prepared for death. He was not afraid of death. She added that he was sleeping with the Lord and she believed and faithfully believed that on the resurrection day they shall meet or see again my people this is what temilolua adebayo wife added to her late husband pastor dare on the member of also known as talks of song service pastor dare adeboye left behind three children and wife Temilolua at the Boye, may his soul rest in peace. Pastor Dari, my husband, was a wonderful person. He was amazing in every sense of the way. I do not mourn him at all. I weep because he left me. He slept. He did not die. He did not die. And I know, I am sure, because on the resurrection morning, he will rise again and we will see him in glory. I'm sure because he was saved. I'm sure because he believed in Christ, his salvation was sure, it was certain. He said, if I die today, I know I am fulfilled, I have done what the Lord has asked me to do. He was not afraid of death, he was not afraid. It is not a matter of how short, it is not a matter of time, but how well. And he lived well. He lived a good life. He lived to the glory of God. He lived, he served God. His life was dedicated to Christ. And that is why I, I am sure that he is in heaven. I am sure that he made it. And I want to say, brethren, today, that if you are not sure of your salvation, if you are not sure that if you sleep tonight, you might not wake up tomorrow. You are not sure of where you will be in eternity. You have not given your life to Christ at all. If you are here today, you heard, and perhaps you just came to see. Yes, it's true. He is sleeping in the Lord. But are you sure of yourself? Are you sure of where you will be? Are you sure of eternity? You haven't given your life to Christ? Or perhaps you did. And, take, and took it back from him. I want you to raise your right hand this evening. If you are not sure of your salvation, you are not sure you are going to sleep in the Lord. 
You are not sure of where you are going to end up. You are afraid to die because you are not living a holy life. If you are afraid to die because you are not saved, because the devil is still in control of your life, I want you to raise your right hand up this evening. Wherever you are, just raise, raise your right hand up. Raise it up and let the Lord save you today. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy. You are not going to die. You are not going to die. I want you to be saved just as my husband was saved. I want you to make it. I want you to be sure of yourself. I want you to live your life fully for Jesus. I want you to rededicate your life to him if you, if you, are, if you were once saved. I want you to tell him, Lord Jesus, I come before you today. Please save me. I want to surrender my life back to you. Help me because I cannot do this on my own. That if you come before tomorrow morning, I will reign with you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you everyone that have come to honor God in his life. Thank you for coming. And I pray that the Almighty God will reward us all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord.